Mamba Sawad, the game is uh, basically it's a chance for the player to be me and get into a lot of these environments, um, you know, whether it's jungles, deserts or mountains. Um, and, you know, try and survive and, you know, make your decisions and live with the consequences of what you do. Pick your tools, pick your terrain, pick your mission and, um, and get in there. The guys who have helped me make this, it's basically they take their favourite episodes, favourite bits from those um, shows, but then say, okay, if you had this and it went wrong or you, you chose that wrong decision, what would happen? So I'm then giving them all the facts of kind of what would actually happen if you grabbed a snake like that and if you try to go for the croc like that or if you tried that leap on the slick rot like that. Uh, and we put it all into a game. So in that sense, the game widens the horizons of what you can do much further than just what I do in the show, um, which makes it kind of fun for a player. <laughs> You're surviving, you're skydiving in, you're building rafts, you're fighting off snakes and crocs and sharks and you know there's quite a cool training zone where you can you know practice all your skills and making shelters and making fires. It's cool, you know, it's full on, um, it's exciting. I've always been a bit nervous of computer games and you know I don't want my kids to have lots of violent games and stuff. It's the only computer game I'm letting my kids play. <laughs> the good thing about this game is that um, it's empowering, you know, it's giving people skills that they could use that one day could save their life, but it's in a game that is um, pretty full on, very immersive and exciting, hopefully. E3 is pretty crazy, it's like being back in the military, all I'm hearing is gunshots whizzing over my head. Then I realize it's computer games being played very loudly. Um, so I'm a little bit on edge at the start, but we're getting there now. Man vs. Well, the game is out this autumn, so um, enjoy.